Hey everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome to uh, Dave's podcast. It's another day, another podcast, another... Anyway, it could be anything, it could be anything. Today is not, not so great day. I, I just, I, I'm disappointed on the world today, I really am. Uh, to be frank with you guys out there, the world's going uh, weird. Uh, they have protests around the world, not just here in Canada, but United States. Um... They have a problem. They seriously have a problem around the, all around the world about protesting looters, protesters, protesters being good, looters being terrible, um, and uh, it's just it's just the way it is. We're in the year 2020, and that's what it's going to be like. So the next 10 years, look back and say what we were thinking, kind of thing. But I'm going to say to, uh, to you guys, in the year 2020, this is where we at in the year 2020. Uh, looters. Protesters being really good, really nice, and everything's going great with the protesters. You're, uh, you got the First Amendment rights. You got the First Amendment rights to uh, assemble out there, whatever uh, assembly you want to have. Um, but you got to do it in a safe way. They always tell you to do it in a safe way. So if you want to protest, do it in a safe way. Other than that, don't loot. Uh, but yeah. Um, but we want everybody to know that uh, I'm just really sad at what the world is like. There's no leadership, and I've said that so many times, no leadership. Uh, uh, everywhere everywhere I'm here, to Donald Trump, to everybody in the United States and Canada, I'm not going to lay blame to anybody. It's just the leadership is not all there. Uh, I've been scratching my head as of late about all this leadership going on. I know we have great people in our world, but leadership is just not there. Um... Um, Donald Trump is trying to do his best. I get it with these people. They're really, really, uh, really liking Donald Trump. I get those kind of people. I really do. I'm trying my darndest to say that Donald Trump is really good and we should uh, support him and everything. But I don't know. I really don't know. I really don't know, folks. We got Joe Biden here coming in. Um, I said the pr uh, previous videos that uh, he's got a 50-50 chance to win the presidency. I kid you not, in November 3rd, mark it on your calendar, everybody. Um, November 3rd, that's November 3rd, according to what I've heard. November 3rd is the American election day. 50-50 uh, chance on Joe Biden. That's uh, Vice President Joe Biden to everybody in the United States. Um, he's married, everybody. He's married. He's got a wife. Um, so he's not, he's not a single guy or anything. Uh, he's got a wife, and uh, his wife supports him. I'm pretty sure he do, uh, she does, or, you know, whatever the case may be. Uh, but, yeah, Joe Biden is going out there, I mean, uh, not guns a blazing or anything like that. Uh, just really, really going out there. He's uh, he's going to run for the presidency. He's marked his territory, and he's going to run for presidency. In November... Uh, I'm just thinking. Uh, I'm just thinking to myself. He's got a 50/50 chance to win uh, the uh, president of the United States. He's got a 50/50 chance of winning this thing in November. Uh, in terms of numbers, I'm just thinking right now as we are in the, what, what month are we in? Uh, June. So by the time November rolls around, um, he's got a 50/50 chance to win this thing if Donald Trump uh, does something. It's like pulling rabbit out of the hat kind of scenarios. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so we got Joe Biden, uh, vice, he was once a vice president to Barack Obama. So he's running for presidency. And, uh, yeah, he's got a big role to hold for uh, between now and November. Um, so, yeah, he is married, folks. You can ask him uh, personally if you want. He is married. Um, uh, his wife, uh, Joe Biden's wife, has been on uh, on a live TV a couple of times. Um, a couple of times, you know what she looks like. Uh, uh, I forget her name at the moment, but yeah, Joe, uh, Joe Biden is married. Uh, he has kids of his own uh, from his uh, wife uh, side of things, and uh, yeah. So there you go, folks. And uh, yeah, he is married. Um, he wants to run for the uh, the president of the United States, and Joe Biden is going to do it. But 50-50 chance. This one, uh, this one, sets in. 50-50 chance he's going to win uh, on all scenarios. Uh, it's going to it's going to be a long uh, uh, from all from all the coronavirus I've been saying. 
to the uh, social justice saying, I think he's going to win. 50-50 chance that he's going to win. This is my estimation. Uh, Thank you very much, Mr. So we're going to go with that. And I think, I think I'm sensing 50-50% on, uh, really, on, on Joe Biden. Um, I'm not going to say yes or no on it. I'm just giving 50-50% on him being President of the United States. Don't quote me on this. But at the ballot box, it'll be 50-50 chance he's going to win. Um, I don't know about the people. Well, people are not liking Donald Trump at the moment. You get some lefty people saying, nope, we don't like this guy. You should throw him out of office. We'll just see from here on out till November. Um, it's been four solid years of Donald Trump. Is he a one, um, is he a one, you know, one full, full, you know, four years of being president in the United States? I would say. Not second year. Uh, that would be eight years if he went to the second year. Uh, not the second year, but the next four years. That would be eight years in total. Uh, but, yeah, um, I've been listening to C-SPAN in the morning, and these callers who call up the uh, uh, Washington Journal show. This is a uh, call in, uh, 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 radio program. You can get on C-SPAN app. Uh, this is the Americans' uh, uh, politics stuff. And the side of things and uh yeah so there you go um people are a little upset due to the fact there's protesting going on there's uh, uh police people out there there's riot gears there's uh armies out there in full force uh donald trump just said the 1807 law which is the federal law uh he just uh said that publicly he it's an old law apparently 1807 law uh, but it's the federal law, so I really don't know what that means to anybody, but it's the 1807 law. It's a very old law. Go look it up. Um, but it's only used twice. Once in the early 80s, once in the 90s. Um, and the, this is the third time recently that Donald Trump has mentioned publicly. Um, so, yes, um, I wish he would just say, you know, uh, you know, martial law and then have everybody going on the streets and everything and uh, have martial law and everybody but they want uh, Donald Trump doesn't want to do the harsh way um, he wants to do it the easier way so he's going to do the 1807 way uh, which is the federal law that's the federal law and uh, folks yep he's let down the gauntlet for 1807 law it's an old very old law apparently um, but it was used twice in the early 80s and 90s, uh, the Los Angeles riots to uh, the hurricane, some hurricane that happened in the early 80s. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I did I did check it up. I did check up on the uh, web browsers. It's a very old law. Um, Jefferson, I forget his name, uh, in 1807, that's a long time ago, is from the 1800s. Uh, so, yes, he cited that publicly. The president, the sitting president of, of the United States did, uh, you can uh, hear what he said on that press conference. Um, and, yeah, if you're from the United States, you would know these laws. There's, a, you get uh, uh, amendment laws. You get, uh, you, as American citizens, if you lived in the United States for five or ten years, you have uh, uh, these, well, American citizen laws. Well, they're not really laws, but they're, you get amendments, you get constitutional uh, stuff. So what that really entails is the First Amendment uh, is you can uh, protest wherever you want, whatever you want to do, protest in anywhere. And, uh, yeah, that's your First Amendment right. You just say you want to exercise your First Amendment right, which is right to protest. Uh, that's, as American citizen, you're allowed to do that. Uh, but do it safely. They always say make, do it safely. That's what we're asking for. But yes, that's what you go. There's about 14 amendments in the amendments. 14 amendments. Now, I never wrote, I never read all those 14 amendments, but apparently there is. Um, and the Constitution, there's a lot of them, I think. Um, there's the Constitution. You got Nancy Pelosi, you get uh, uh, Chuck Schumer. Uh, I'm, tr I'm trying to laugh at these people. I really am. I have a hard time. Uh, understanding these people. Uh, Nancy Pelosi, who's the Speaker of the House in Capitol Hill, uh, uh, she's doing all she can. They're suing her. Apparently they're suing her. Uh, I think the Democrats are trying to sue her uh, uh, for uh, some, I don't know, what, 
do their sooner about. But anyway, they are truly, truly doing that. Um, these are <laughs> these are people from the Capitol Hill. They're not like you and I or anything. Uh, but yeah, they, they want to really do this in a good way. They want to do this in a bipartisan way. They call it the bipartisan way. I think that's what they're trying to get at. Uh, so yeah, they can do a bipartisan way. I don't know what that means to anybody, but if it means something to you, that's great. That's great. That's really, truly great. But anyway, I want to say to you guys, have a great day, United States and Canada and around the world. Uh, the, uh, uh, the Chinese people are uh, good people. But when it comes to um, nuclear weapons, I'm talking about nuclear weapons, uh, things that can be damaged to cities. Uh, uh, these are big, huge weapons, big, huge blow. They're kind of like the atomic bomb in a way. Uh, that will blow up a whole city, country, the world, essentially. Uh, the Chinese people got, uh, they did this last year, had a, a big, huge parade. In that parade, they had these big, huge army people. And they had big guns. They had the big guns, which I call is the uh, nuclear weapons. Now, Donald Trump, who's the sitting president of the United States, <laughs> he's going to fight fire with fire. <laughs> Remember, he's the sitting president. He's the commander in chief. And, you know, he's all these things for American people. Um, but uh, he's not going to allow that to happen. He's not going to let the United States be bombed by these Chinese people and the, the leader of that world in the uh, there. And, uh, yeah, so, you know, you know, he said it before, he's not going to allow that to happen. He's, he done, he done it in a calm approach. When the protesting was on, uh, he took it in a, a calm approach. And I really appreciate that, the President of the United States. Um, he doesn't exacerbate the thing. He doesn't, uh, you know, get all upset about it. He just does it in a calm approach in, a, in his voice. Uh, he's going to do what he needs to do in a, in a way that's not, uh, uh, you know, destructive enough. Um, uh, so AT, he, he just put down the 1807 law, which is federal law. Go look it up. Um, that's the law that they have in the United States. Um, so it's a very terrible. I wish I wish just protesting and looting would didn't happen. It was sad. Originally with those uh, kind of uh, purposes, which they do like two or three days, and then they ended it. Uh, but... Uh, but it didn't happen that way. It went to six days, and um, this is where we're at, folks. This is where we're at. So, yes, uh, Donald Trump kind of let down the gauntlet. He went to 1807 law, and that's a very old law, apparently. But it was used twice, early 80s and 90s, um, from the Los Angeles riots. They used it on that. You can look if there's footage there. Uh, but they did use it twice in, in the past uh, few decades. Um, so, when, it, when these are laws that the President of the United States could use if they, if it need be, on an American citizen. And now, he he uh, raised up the uh, Bible book of this church. For what reason? I don't know. Um, it could be hysterical. It could be, it could be like this. So, folks, yes, I'm sad about it as a Canadian. I don't like seeing that. I really don't. I don't like to see the American people in this position, in their way. They, uh, we're supposed to be, as as American people, as Canadian people, we're supposed to be, um, as the word I'm looking for is, uh, disobedient. We're supposed to be disobedient to all this. You know, we're trying to live life to the fullest, live all our lives to the fullest. And, uh, yeah, so there you go, folks. I'm going to really, it's not really a rant. It's just, I'm just sad for these American people. But Joe Biden is trying to try his darndest to be the best that he could be. Anyway, goodbye.